Hey guys, we're going to talk about batteries and how they relate to distance. Essentially, your battery is your gas tank. So the bigger your battery, the further you're going to be able to go. There are a few variables that also come into play and we're going to talk about those in just a minute. But essentially, when you're looking for a battery for your e-bike, it's kind of like shopping for a battery at the grocery store. You can spend $3 on a 9 volt battery, you can spend $12 on a 9 volt battery. It's not always just that the brand names charge more money, it's actually the composition of the cell. There are some cells that hold a charge for a longer period of time. At Baku, we use the $12 cells. So we start off with a 17.5 amp hour battery and we go all the way up currently to a 25 amp hour battery. We run a 48 volt system on our bikes. So the amp hours essentially relates to distance. The voltage, 48 volts, essentially relates to torque and climbing capabilities. So. To give you an idea when you're comparing batteries from one brand to another, you're going to want to use a simple formula, essentially taking voltage, multiply it by amp hours, and that's going to give you watt hours. So when we start talking about the variables that contribute to your ability to go further, essentially it comes down to a few big ones, and they are rider weight, or the amount of gear or weight of the gear that you're pulling or carrying. So at 170 pounds, to give you an idea, when I'm out riding, our batteries give me about two amp hours per mile. So at 170 pounds, if I'm riding a bike that has a 17.5 amp hour battery, I'm going to get 17.5 times two, I'm gonna get two miles per amp hour. I'm gonna get roughly 35 miles out of a 30, out of a 17.5 amp hour battery. Now that's, that's miles in the mountains. So that's climbing uphill, downhill, old logging roads. That's kind of a combination of everything. It's being battery conscientious. I'm not on a level five assist the whole time and I'm not throttling the whole time. I'm using those higher levels of assistance four and five when I'm climbing the steep stuff and then I'm down on a level two or three when I'm riding on the flatter ground. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of distance you get. Uh, if you're weigh a little bit more than that, then your, your mileage is going to come down a little bit. If you weigh a little less than that, then you're going to get even a little bit more mileage. Some of the other things that impact distance is temperature. So if you're riding in extremely cold temperatures, then you're going to zap a little bit of your battery. And that's the reason that we have an accessory called a battery jacket. And you can see more about that. Definitely depends upon the train, the, the rider weight, and the gear that you're pulling, as well as the temperature. There's a few other variables in there with regards to are you riding on a high level of, of assist or a low level of assist, um, as well as a few other things, but those are the big ones.